Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus. Specifically, what is going on with all of this modern technology now? In one of the more recent Pokemon Legends Arceus trailers, we got to learn about the Arc Phone. Something that has to do with Arceus, but also looks very similar to a modern day smartphone in the ancient Hisui region, which doesn't make a world of sense at all to anyone. And in one of the more recent trailers where they unveiled brand new Hisuian forms of Zorua and Zoroark, the person traveling in the north of the Hisui region seemed to be documenting his experiences through video. I, there's a lot to talk about with modern tech and how it connects to the Pokemon lore as a whole and if the lore even ever makes sense with this topic, but I want to try to answer a few of those questions today and explain why Legends Arceus seems to be going back and forth on if it's ancient Sinnoh, if it's slightly older Sinnoh, and what's going on with these cell phones. Let's jump right into things. When Legends Arceus was first revealed a couple months back, it seemed like we were getting a Pokemon game in a world where none of the modern tech amenities even existed. Cell phones, Pokemon PC storage, the ability to trade Pokemon technologically, none of that was here. If you want to trade Pokemon with another trainer, you got to do it the old fashioned way. Take out your Pokeball, hand it to the other person, and they will give you theirs. That's right, we're in the olden days with this one baby. But then, uh, one of the newer trailers and some of the updates on the Pokemon website for Legends Arceus led us to have some very mixed receptions. The Arc Phone, an item that the trainer character in Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to use, and it's basically going to be your your map, probably some information about your Pokemon, probably your Pokedex, all of these different things. And the way in which the Pokemon website describes it is that this seems to have a strange connection with Arceus. As we can see by the design of the Arc Phone, it looks very much like an Arceus. It is clearly some kind of power enthused by some kind of mythical Pokemon energy of some sort. And if, listen, if we had to make predictions, in world lore, they're going to basically be like, we're not sure where this thing came from. Maybe it traveled through time and space to get here. Who knows what's what its connection is to Arceus, the mythical Pokemon of this land. They're going to be coy about it, but you're still going to have that full technological ability. And it's just, given the entire environment of Legends Arceus, the inclusion of a feature like this can come across as a little jarring at times, and I think it's fair to talk about what balance they're trying to strike with this game so that it feels like you're in ancient times, but you're also getting enough features that you feel like you still have the ability to play a video game that has those modern amenities to the player character, which a lot of technology in video games provides. Now, before going any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and if you want to see more Legends Arceus videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and you will have as many Legends Arceus videos as you can possibly handle. That's right, an infinite amount. One franchise that really gets this mix of technology and medieval, you know, theming, very, it, they do it very well, is another Nintendo property, and that's The Legend of Zelda. One of the ways they get around having such advanced technology, for example, in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you had the Sheikah Slate, which was basically an iPad, and you could see your map and your abilities and use your runes and all of these things straight from it. But the way that it's justified here is that the ancient... It, this ancient tech that was able to use the Sheikah Slate, it's been lost to time. The race of people, the race of beings that had this technology were far more advanced than other civilizations, and we still have their remnants of their society. And in a fantasy setting where they are consistent about this, it makes sense. It's a video game world. You don't have to make it consistent with what reality is. You can bend the truth and stretch the truth. But with Pokemon... They're very coy about what their technology really is, because we've already seen from these games that they, have an they don't have as advanced of a Pokeball in Legends Arceus. This one seems to have steam and wood as opposed to the plastic Pokeballs, plastic metal Pokeballs that we have in modern times. 
there's differences in the tech. Another thing that we've seen, you can see this in the thumbnail of the video, is that you don't have box storage for Pokemon. Your Pokemon, if they're not in your party of six, are going to be at this Pokemon Ranch. This is probably going to be in Jubilife Village, and this is where your Pokemon are going to be stored, and you can go back and probably swap them out as you please. But that's another modern thing that has not been invented yet. So what's the deal with the phone? <laughs> like... Are they going to justify it through, okay, uh, this is something that we're not entirely sure where it came from. And the obvious reasoning is that it came from the future. And this is something that you're using to kind of navigate the world and explore. And listen, if it comes from the future, it's Pokemon. This is the way it works. I'm willing to accept that as a reason. What I think would be overstepping is if they referred to it as like a smartphone or referred to the idea that they had the ability to engineer this technology for themselves. In my opinion, that just doesn't fit in with the timeline and the time period that Legends Arceus takes place in. I feel like they're trying to go for this 200, 300 year old Japan in where the Sinnoh region is based in real life Japan with Hisui. We're seeing this with some of the Pokemon that exist. There's plenty of Hisuian Pokemon that we're getting in this game that don't exist in the modern Pokemon games. And a lot of that is because it's in ancient times, the climate is different, and these Pokemon eventually didn't need to evolve this way in the modern Sinnoh region. The technology you would also hope would be far less advanced. So with an Arc Phone, the best way to do it is to have it be that future tech. And hopefully they do it. It seems like this Arceus design is going to imply that it's not necessarily man-made, that it could be made by Arceus, it could have some kind of time travel mechanic, any of these things are possible. But stretching this out further, tech in Legends Arceus needs to be low-key. You can have uh, different buildings for different stores, but the stores shouldn't seem modern. So for example, we know that you're going to be able to buy different clothing items in Legends Arceus. Hopefully, it doesn't look like what just a modern clothing store looks like. These modern amenities need to look like they're from their time period. I understand that it's Pokemon. And as I've said before, they're very on and off with how they represent their technology and they represent what their cultures in their world have been able to achieve. They're very all over the place with this. And it's a fantasy RPG game. We're not trying to judge this like it's a work of fiction and you're telling a medieval story and all of a sudden somebody whips out a Maserati. Like, that's not the level that we're trying to judge this on. This is Pokemon. This is fun. This is exciting. You can do it in a right way. And I'll mention the Sheikah Slate again. It was an iPad in Legend of Zelda, which is sort of, you know, knights and kings and, and queens and princesses and the magic of Zelda, it's supposed to feel like a feudal medieval setting almost. But they're able to balance it because they have in-game lore distinctions that justify why that tech exists. And hopefully, Legends Arceus is able to do the same thing. Hopefully, they're able to explain why there are no Pokemon boxes, why Pokeballs are far less advanced, but you have something like an Arc Phone. Because it's an interesting balance, and it's something that, listen, they do it well, it's where you see your map, it's where you'll pull out to look at your party and look at moves and look at your items, things like that. You need to have some sort of item for that, just in terms of making a UI for your player character to use and for you to use playing the game. It makes a lot of sense. I understand the reasoning and the justification behind it. But ultimately, the idea of modern tech in Legends Arceus is one that we're going to continue to see play out. We're going to get more news information about the, the towns in Legends Arceus and how modern are they? How ancient are they? What kinds of advanced human tech are they going to have as opposed to more of a feudal society? A lot of those questions are going to be answered for us in the coming months. So with that being said, I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Does the mix of modern tech and ancient not so advanced stuff bother you? Or is it just something you're like, it's Pokemon, I'm not really looking for that kind of consistency. That stuff is okay. I would love to know what you guys think. And as I mentioned before, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet. It does a ton to show me that you want to see more Legend Arceus videos like this because we got a bunch of months until this game comes out and we got a lot of room to speculate. It's going to be really fun. So with that being said, I have been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.